people that are planning the end back of this party, they know what they are doing. Neither like Wiki or like Lano Kubara. Kubara went to Abuja, sat down with the president. Uh, whether an executive order or whether it was an agreement, with, the document was produced and both parties signed that document. If the governor didn't want to sign, he would have just said to the president there and then that he wants to study the document and get back to the president. But listening to warmongers and they now claim that oh, um, an executive order produced the empower resolution of this state that is not constitutional. And yes, the same governor by yeah, an executive order has demolished the status of assembly. Yeah, an executive order has moved the city of the status of assembly from a place that the speaker, because it is that the concern is the speaker that ought to designate the place. Okay. The, of, uh, the governor has contravened the constitution of the Vienna executive order, designated a place inside the government house, just like a big chief in his time for sitting. And for people that are condemning the executive order of the president, he should support the executive order of uh, the governor. Why those that are condemning the executive order of the governor are supporting the executive order of the president? You see the aberration. Just the same way, people who are today supporting Kubara and his four uh, clowns called lawmakers were the same people that condemned Evans DP and his four five clowns. Those people who supported, um, who condemned and made cheese high handedness, those days, also today, are supporting Wicked uh, and his uh, 27 members high handedness. All what is at play here is a man trying to hold on to power, the levers of power. Wicked, we, we know, has. GDP and the mortgage to him. And any attempt to rescue GDP from him will be met with steep resistance. That is the genesis of all that is happening in River State. And in River State also, the governor has been told that being a governor, you need to take hold of the levers of power and the political structure. So, who laughs last is what we are basically saying play out in River State. And the air that comes to a river state are not helping matters. I would have expected that former governors in the state, irrespective of political parties, the leaders of top, religious leaders and stakeholders should be able to call all warring parties together. For them to sign a peace accord and say, you know what, let peace reign. Because at the end of the day, when 12 fight, it is the ground that suffers. But the way they are going, it's obvious that soon a state of emergency might be declared in river state because it will become impracticable for the state of assembly to speak and legislate. And when that becomes impracticable, the National Assembly might have to take over the responsibility of legislating for that state. And that might lead to you know, something different altogether. So I think this is the best time for all the parties to sit down, irrespective of their differences, and look beyond all of these levers of power. Because some of them can close their eyes today and not wake up tomorrow. Look beyond the levers of power and walk for the betterment of the state. Instead, yes, there are bridges and good roads in the state. But in terms of human capital development, the state is nowhere. So they need to build human capital and ensure that at least come 20, uh, 2027, then they can renew this utility on who grabs power uh, instead of um, the, the government taking the back burner and politics consistently playing at the top, despite the fact that the election has been lost. I must say, I can tell you right from 1999. Um, there's never been um, a, what you call an election properly so called in River. In 2015, we saw the election, the first that rock, the election that produced Even in 2019, we saw, you know, um, that uh, crisis, crisis, you know, the back and forth with the military, you know, and eventually, at the end of the day, you know, a winner emerged. In the same way, in 2023, uh, River State was a hot for election. So, because these people really do not believe in the powers of um, uh, election, or they don't believe that they were actually elected by the people, they believe that they were either elected by one man. Remember, Wiki posted that the um, vote forms for everybody. You know, nobody is asking where you the money from. Anyway, thanks. Is uh, working for APC now, so things can be functioning. He bought funds for everybody, and um, all these people, ought, according to him, or in his mind, ought to be subservient to him. The same way he bought funds for them, he probably also assisted them or enabled or made sure that they all become uh, uh, lawmakers. Kubara, we know, was 
said wanted by EFCC for almost two years, we can hold him up in government house until he was sworn in as governor. So uh, that's why the people, there is a disconnect between the people and the, the uh, uh, those who are going there. And that's why it's almost like the people are just have, they are watching. And some of them who are political will take sides. Why the leaders, depending on um, the new cook in the kitchen and how well he's portrayed their fair bread, the leaders would also take sides. Those who suffering from wicked will say wicked can do no wrong. Those suffering from Fubara now will say Fubara can also do no wrong. But at the end of the day, in governance in the state, River State that's uh, consistent. Remember, it used to be uh, one of the most beautiful states during the days of. Uh, uh, Yakilome, uh, police commissioner, you go Yakilome, yes, little uh, Yakilome. Subsequently, you had uh, Godwin uh, Abbey as governor, and then now, you know, towards Billy and the rest, Amici and Sunil Kumara. So, but in all of this, you will see development, but human capital development is zero. It was, at the point, it became a hotbed and home for militants. So, if there is not speaking, in all of this, there are also people that are being used as thugs on both sides. When the, the wars and the drugs of war is over, the aftermath of the first of the first of war, the aftermath of the set of crisis, those people that have been armed, quote and unquote, to 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 fight not one, to provide support to the war, both warring parties, uh, uh, party, what becomes of them. So I'm I'm more concerned about you know the event after the war than the war so that's where you know as uh, river said i just recovered from crisis now it will push back into crisis and the leaders of course is not to be concerned river state of course those days used to be home to most of the other countries a lot of them have moved out there all in lagos and lagos now is reaping the benefit of those taxes some have moved out of nigeria i would say some concern we are all concerned about power about um, state authority, about who becomes speaker, who uh, becomes governor, who becomes an ambassador. So when we consistently fix and then judges begin to move others and counter others, we cannot develop a state. Order. And that's why some people I will say we are not matured for certain things as a state. You know, so it, it saddens me when I see all of these, you know, shenanigans playing on. You see the House of Assembly. If guys not taking a person, the time we come, the governor will lift one man, provided he's one man that is standing with him. That man becomes the speaker, he becomes the head of all the committee. He will tell you that one person, one man, will tell you that he has you know, suspended other members, refused to inaugurate members of the state of assembly. And people, including senior lawyers and judges, hold their hands and encourage them on. And that's why we are seeing the high handedness playing out the river today. And if guys not taking, Someday, some person will raise one person as a member of a state of 